State of Colorado is not only high on products like Skunk Number no. 1, Green Crack, and Purple Lady. Those products are making the state rich. We're talking about nearly $190 million in projected tax revenue. Remember, Colorado has an aggressive tax on weeds subject to the state's 2.9% sales tax and an additional 10% sales tax and a 15% excise tax for marijuana retailers. This week, the first revenue projections are in and other states are taking notice. CNN's Ana Cabrera live in Denver to tell us more. Good morning. Good morning, Carol. Marijuana sales are beating expectations on every level. This is meaning huge money for the state of Colorado. We're talking tens of millions of dollars just in taxes. And dispensary owners are telling us business has not slowed down in the past six weeks since legal sale of recreational marijuana began here in Colorado. In fact, one of the dispensary owners we talked to tells us she can only afford to be open a third of the time because she doesn't even have enough product to meet the demand. Another dispensary owner says since he converted from being just a medical marijuana dispensary to being both medical marijuana and recreational marijuana, his business has more than quadrupled. So clearly that sales and excise tax of nearly 25% on the drug isn't keeping people away from buying it. And the governor's office just gave its own projections on tax revenue this week saying it should make about $184 million in tax revenue in the first 18 months of this new law. And here's how Colorado is now planning to spend that money. We're learning 40 million will go to public school construction. Now that was mandated by voters, but the governor then wants to spend another $85 million on youth prevention and substance abuse treatment. About $12.4 million on public health, $3 million on law enforcement and public safety, and then $2 million on industry oversight. Carol, that is just the beginning. <laughs> I'm sure it is. Ana Cabrera, many thanks. Um, just take a look at some of the other states considering legalizing recreational marijuana. At least eight states from Alaska to Maine are looking at it either through ballot initiatives or in the state legislatures. One big advocate pushing for legalization uh, is the Marijuana Policy Project. Joining me now is Mason Tavert. He's the communications director from the Marijuana Policy Project. Welcome, sir. Thank you for having me. So I guess my first question, are you surprised at all the tax revenue that marijuana has generated in Colorado? Well, I think people have known for quite a long time that taking marijuana out of the underground market and putting it into legitimate businesses and taxing sales was going to generate a whole lot of money. It looks like it might even be generating more money than a lot of people thought it would. So, you know, it's really a huge benefit for Colorado rather than flushing that money down the toilet into the underground market, it's now going to be reinvested in our community. And I just want to you know, step back and think about the war on drugs for just a minute, because all of these people who are buying recreational pot, this isn't their first time. Yeah, you know, people have been using marijuana in Colorado and around the country and around the world for a very long time. The only difference is now in Colorado, they're able to buy it safely in a uh, legitimate, tightly regulated store where they have to pay taxes, and uh, they're getting a product they know is safe. What states do you think are most likely to legalize pot next? Well, the most likely next state is going to be Alaska. There's now a measure on the ballot for August that would essentially regulate and tax marijuana like alcohol, which is similar to what we've done here in Colorado and what they've done in Washington state. We also expect to see measures passing either this year or within the next couple years in Rhode Island, Oregon, California, Arizona, Nevada, Maine. I mean, it's really taking off. So we expect to see a lot of a lot of gains in the next couple years. What's most interesting, even um, some conservative southern states like Georgia, um, some lawmakers want to legalize medical marijuana. Does that surprise you? Well, you know, this is a no-brainer. You know, more than three out of four Americans think that uh, medical marijuana has legitimate benefits for people. And, you know, a strong majority of people now think marijuana should just be legal for all adults who are of age, you know, to use it. So I think that people are just coming to recognize marijuana is not as dangerous as our government once led them to believe. It's actually less harmful than alcohol. And it's time we start treating it that way. Mason Tavert, Communications Director from the Marijuana Policy Project. Thanks so much. Thank you. Still to come in the newsroom. The